Professor Baddeley one must ask you about your key dependency study, the one with the divers. Oh yes, that was one of my biggest successes. I must say Godin was a great help to me. And the divers of course. It's on the A-level exam syllabus now you know. So tell me, why did you decide to research this topic and what did you aim to find out in your study? I remember that I came across a study by Abernathy from 1940 and thought I could do a better one. You know with more controls and some statistics. God don't agree with me. So you went to Scotland, to an open water site? Yes, we went to Obon as the university diving club were there doing some diving and we thought it was a great way of testing contexts as underwater and land are so different. I can see that would be a valid test of context. And it would have ecological validity too as it was the divers natural environment. Yes and we knew that working divers might have to learn things, so we'd be able to tell them if they should learn on land or underwater. So our study had positive applications. Okay, that's good but can we talk about the procedure? Sure, well we had 18 divers in all, but two dropped out. That's is quite a small sample so we had to do a repeated measures design. Then we were worried about order effects. Ah uh, yes, practice or fatigue. Well researchers usually counterbalance the conditions. How did you do that with four conditions? We had to split them into four groups to do the conditions in a different order each. So on the first day a quarter of them did land land, a quarter did land underwater and so on. Okay so once you had sorted out the order to go in, what did the divers actually have to do? What was your dependent variable? The divers had to listen to a list of 36 words through headphones and then write them down after 4 minutes. The number of words correctly recalled was the DV. So were you pleased with your results, Professor Baddeley? We were delighted as we found that when the context was the same for learning and for recall, the divers recalled about 50% more words than when the context changed. That sounds rather significant. Did you do some statistics? We sure did and we found that it was a highly significant difference, so very unlikely to have occurred by chance. I think it was less than 0.1% chance of a fluke. Wow that's great. It supported the theory of Q-dependent forgetting then? Yes our results showed that with the absence of cues from the context or environment, there was much more forgetting. Hang on a minute, your critics say you might have a confounding variable. You don't know if it was the context or the opportunity to rehearse that caused the difference in recall. That's right. We were gutted when we realized. So we quickly did a second experiment when the divers had to do a distraction task rather than just sitting there. Oh so what were the results? Did rehearsal have any effect? No we are sure that rehearsal had no effect as there was no difference in scores when divers were distracted compared to when they were allowed to rehearse. There was only one further criticism that you used word lists to test recall and that's not an everyday task that divers or anyone else has to do. So it lacks mundane realism. Yes I'm afraid we have to put our hands up and say we couldn't use a realistic task as the divers were on their holiday and were not needing to learn anything. But there were many more strengths than weaknesses. You had a high level of validity, both experimental and ecological, and the reliability was also very good. How kind of you to say so. We did work hard to control as many extraneous variables as possible, and of course we had no participant variables with our repeated measures design. Well that should give our viewers plenty to write about in their answers to the question describe and evaluate a study into key dependent forgetting. Have you any more advice? Just to say, try to write a balanced answer with very good description and very good evaluation points too. With good organization you can get a high score. Good luck in the exam.